Hello there. We are going to do some more formal logic. Um, this one's a little different than our last one, which was a proof by cases. In this case, we're just trying to prove P or not P. Um, so basically, we're trying to prove a tautology. Uh, this may seem a little weird um, to be trying to prove, and it kind of is, but it, it kind of gives you an idea as to uh, it gives you a slightly better idea as to kind of how formal logic works. So in this situation, you might ask yourself, um, where the heck do I start? This is really weird. <laughs> and that would be a fair question. Um, to be honest, for proving tautologies, I feel like a proof by contradiction is actually one of the better routes. And um, I'll show you why. And so we're going to start off. And we're going to just say, we're going to assume not P or not P. So sorry, that may have sounded a little different than what it looked like writing it down. We're proving not P or not P. Uh, these are a little hard to say aloud sometimes. And remember, we want to say assume for contradiction. And this is the contradiction symbol. It can also be called the uh, attack because it looks kind of like a attack very creative um, so line two where do we where do we start we're going to use a common rule of inference called de morgan's which is actually a a few different rules mixed into one uh, and basically the way it works is you distribute the negation and you flip your um your symbol so in this case we're going to say not p and not not p by de morgan's of line one we could have gotten rid of these these two not symbols with de morgan's but i kind of want to do it a little more explicitly just to just for clarity's sake so now we have not p and just like i said i'm going to do p by uh, double negation of line two. And then, if you're reading this, you may think to yourself, uh, this makes no sense, <laughs> and you would be right. You cannot have not P and P at the same time. So this leads us to a contradiction. And the way we write this is uh, contradiction introduction. Uh, there, there are a couple ways to write this. Uh, this is just the one that I'm most familiar with. Uh, I think you're going to find this a little bit more in like a philosophy book or something. Uh, they, they like to write it like this from what I've seen. Uh, and then you kind of put the line on which it happens, which would be line three. And then we're going to actually exit our sub proof. And we are going to say P or not P by contradiction elimination from line one through four. And the reason we can write it like this is because by negating this statement, we reached a contradiction. So we know that that statement cannot be false. Otherwise, you get to a contradiction, which is just unequivocally false. So we assume this, did some logic over here, and then proved by contradiction that the negation of this was impossible. So we have now proved P or not P. And that is just a basic formal proof uh, for a tautology.